Alright. So, I don't normally do patch note videos, but I thought I'd take the time to showcase my new Discord and go over some of these patch notes a little bit. Um, you know, combat logging has always been an issue, and I'm glad to see it's finally here. We have a, we have a combat logging timer in the game, so all that behavior, regardless if you're someone that's known or someone who's just a shitlord, that, you know, it doesn't matter at this point. You combat log, you're fucking dead, and you're gonna either, res either log back in in jail, where you rightfully belong, or dead. Alright? One or the other. So, I'm glad to see that that's gonna come to an end. Now, on this point... I want to bring up another point that's been talked, that's being talked about, but not in a lot of circles. And I, I don't see this as a as a discussion for the greater community. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna just pull up YouTube right here real quick. Okay, and we're gonna type in. Okay, now I know how some of you, some of you are not gonna like this. Some of you are gonna be like, "Oh no, here he goes again with his Eve Online nonsense," right? But you know, we're gonna talk about killboards because it is time for us as a community to have this discussion. If we're gonna talk about combat logging and adding timers and you know people dying as they're supposed to, okay? Um, you can see my Eve Online stats right here and. The link is right here for you to see, if you can see it. I know my little thing here is a little squished, but, you know, you can find me easy enough on Z Killboard. So I have the same name in basically every game I play. And you can see all of my kills, and you can see all of my losses as well, okay? And that's the big part about this. Not only do you get to see all of my success, you get to see all of my failures. And I'm not ashamed to show you any of this because this is a career in a video game that's, that's over a decade long. It's a damn shame that we don't have the ability to do that in Star Citizen, right? And, you know, it's an alpha, sure, but at this point, you know, I feel that we're here. Especially when we're dealing with behavior like this. Alright? Now, I'm not trying to haze anyone in particular for this kind of behavior, alright? Because there's a lot of people in the game that act like this, alright? And it comes down to, again, like, like you know, they're pointing out clout, and, you know, you don't want to let people think you're weak, and you don't want to let people, you know, have this bad image of you. It's like, oh, why would you want to play those guys? They're trash, blah, 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 right? And that's for everybody, right? But I, what I want to show you is that even the best of us, you know, are only as good as, as those around us. It's one of the core philosophies we had in Renegade. If you had everyone up to, the, to a certain level of competency and a certain level of ability, then you can win the day in most cases. Sorry. But we're gonna get to this part right here. So they basically bomb Ghost Hollow, right? And this is the part where CIG, I'm being dead ass serious with you right now. Like, and I'm being calm and cordial as well. If you don't do it, turbulent. If you don't do this, somebody else will. So, and again, this isn't about hazing anyone in particular in this video. It really isn't. I mean that. It's about pointing out a behavior that needs to be addressed. <clears throat> and the way to address this behavior is by adding these tools to the game that will essentially entice the player base, if not shift the narrative or the psychology of the player base, into a more sportsmanlike mentality. Instead of acting like a fucking two-year-old every time you get fucking killed by somebody. I mean, Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how good you are, it doesn't matter how much time you put into this game. You're gonna die. Get the fuck over it. And this is why I fundamentally disagree with Death of a Spaceman. 
It's the core of all this behavior. It's the core of all this toxicity. At least in this pilot's opinion, that is. But anyway, um, we're going to move on from combat logging timers and kill boards. I've made my point. And I'm glad to see this is finally in the game. It's a great first step into addressing this really bad, toxic player behavior. Truly toxic player behavior. And the next thing we have... I mean, we'll get to this one, too. Um, allowing comms, you know, this whole option of, like, filtering out who can send you friend requests and comm calls and party invites. You don't have to be a streamer or a content creator to approve of this. Another good one is the ship quantum HUD alignment. This was this has been an issue for a long time. And, the, you know, for years and years we've heard CIG say... We're not going to fuck with this X, Y, and Z because we're not ready to, right? Well, this is a good sign because maybe now they're actually getting ready to fuck with Y and Z now and actually give us a HUD worth a damn, okay? I still am an advocate for the older HUD where we still had the 3D icons, like the 3D images of our ship and what we're shooting at up here on the top left and the top right of our HUD. 3D holographic images that would show you all the real-time information. I really miss that, and it would also be an, e an easier option than than this MFD fucking nonsense. The MFD positions on a lot of these ships, and there's simply not enough of MFDs in these ships, right? For this to be a, a thing. And also, you're punishing people who don't have head tracking as well. Alright? So that, that's another side note when it comes to HUD elements. And that's my initial... That's, that's, that is legit feedback. Like, it's great that we have a straight line to, to align our HUDs on at this point. But I, I would still like that old HUD from back in 2.4, 2.6, and way back in the day beforehand, in yesteryear, to come back more refined and more better than what we had before, all right? And I think a lot of, I think I speak for a lot of pilots in this community, regardless if they're top in PVP or low in, you know, cargo pilot, for wanting that back. Especially a lot of old school backers. I know you're out there and I know you're watching me. Back me the fuck up. So, then we had the other big note of the patch, which is the invisibility bug. It says fixed. Character becomes invisible due to not being bound on other clients' machines. That makes my brain hurt thinking about the implications of what was said here. But the TLDR is, is not all, not all the variants have been fixed or found. And I'm, you know, it, it really is up to us in the PvP community to work together to hunt these down and find them, right? You know, the people that are sitting here giggling in private channels and on all these discords about how they know something that gives them a PvP advantage over everyone else and not telling anybody or not, you know, being and not being forthcoming, at least to the company, right, about what you found and what's going on. This behavior, in my in my opinion, my opinion, not Imperium's opinion, my opinion, I truly believe that you individuals that engage in this type of mentality where you sit on this information, these bugs and exploits, and don't report them, I really truly wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe that you're deliberately obstructing this game's development. All right? And I'm asking all the content creators, and I'm asking anyone with a, with a shred of common sense to put the pressure on these people and to figure out, you know, how, how this stuff is done so we can get our game fixed and get, and get things rolling. Or the alternative is we can keep the game for perpetual development forever and make controversy videos about CIG and their dumbass marketing team. I mean, it's your it's your call. I mean, I would rather make fucking content of the game instead of this 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 bullshit, personally. All right, but that's me. My little mini rant. I'll stop, and that is my opinion. 
Alright, and that's not reflective of Imperium for the second time. But this this mentality and this kind of behavior is obstructing the game's development. Alright? So it so stop sitting on this information. If you want to keep it from the rest of the uh, from the rest of the community, fine, what the fuck ever. But don't keep it from CIG. All right, there's plenty of there's plenty of discords where these guys are sitting for you to come, to come forward with bugs that you feel would be, you know, really detrimental to the player health of the of of our game. Okay, so hell, come to my Discord at Rogue Squadron. I have a CIG guy in here that is in fact in charge, the QA lead in charge of the invisibility bug. So if you like, yeah, if you want to come and, and help us actually find these really hard game breaking bugs and not backward spinning retaliator fans come on I've even got an IC channel here for you but um we got some UI fixes for arena commander which is nice we got an interaction mode thing that was broken that I didn't even know about we got some inventory um Icons that were fucking it with widescreen resolutions. You know, a whole bunch of little stuff. I don't play Star Marines, so that's you know, I, I don't even I don't even know what the fuck this means. So, other than that, I mean, these are pretty good patch notes. But guys, you know, if if we work together and stop hiding this information from each other. We can get the game fixed a lot faster. I'm not saying do their goddamn jobs for them. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, um, if you when you're playing the game and you and this and this happens to you, you know, shadow. If you have shadow play on, fucking clip it. You know, if if you understand a little bit of what's going on around you, to figure out how that happened to you, then fucking then write it out. You know, that's all. That's all you got to do to fix this game. Some of the people that are there, unfortunately, you know, they're not stupid people, but they're just—they're not as versed in the game as we are in certain aspects. They don't know everything. They really don't. They know. They know a lot, but they don't know everything. Sometimes you will catch them off guard by saying something or showing them something that they either thought they fixed or they couldn't find themselves. And yes, and, and for anyone that can be ego bruising, but on the same token, you know, there was a disconnect there in the way that we perceive you and the way that you perceive us. This is a CIG statement I'm talking, I'm making here, okay? So, not all of us are as stupid as you think we are. Not all of us are as undereducated on game environments or game engines as you think we are. And the same thing goes the other way. We are not as bad at the game as we think you are, etc., etc. Right? So, you know, all that being said, you know that's the way that we need to be looking at it from now on and if you choose to elect to adopt some of the things I'm saying here cool I'm not saying that you have to do what I say I'm Avenger 1 rah, rah, rah. no I'm sitting here as simply just putting out an, an alternative thought process to, um, compared to what other people are feeding you or offering you okay so, I know this is a long-winded video, but I really feel that there was a lot to talk about with this and unpack with this because, you know, I, I want to move the conversation forward and I want to, you know, start really getting you guys to think about this stuff, all right? But I'll see you guys later. And my Discord information will be in the video. It's also in my channel description if you want to join. Um, the only requirement to joining Rogue Squadron is that you have to be a member of Imperium because we are a unit 
within Imperium. So that is how she rolls. And uh, if you're interested, just if you just want to stay and hang her out and see the way I do things, then that's cool too. You don't have to join. It's a public server, public Discord. So come on in. Um, but be warned, you cause trouble in my Discord, I'll fuck you up. <laughs>